Since it's December 31st, I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a video uh, for this channel to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing, why I've gone from being super consistent on YouTube to being what I call not consistent. I can safe, it's safe to say that I'm not consistent right now. And I just wanna explain all of this. Okay, so where to start with all of this? So in 2019, the beginning of 2019, I actually moved back with my family. The sole reason for this was to A, to build enough wealth um, through freelancing um, to be able to move out and then kind of live my life. So I was kind of going back to my parents' house after a year of traveling just to find a place of comfort, a uh, place of stability after a year of constantly traveling and not having stability. That was the plan. And as the year went through, uh, went by, a lot of things came up. A lot of things. I realized one thing, which is if you're trying to do freelance video, um, what I was primarily doing and still am doing, video editing and video production, video animating, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you're freelancing, you're essentially trying to build your own business uh, with getting clients, um, having consistent cash flow so you can live your life and ha you know hit the goals that you have for yourself each month. And if you also have a YouTube channel at the same time, you have to consider building a YouTube channel as a business at the same time. There's no way around it. You know, a lot of the principles of building a successful business ultimately comes down, um, ultimately is the same principles as building a YouTube channel. When you create a video, you should be able to, to know how to market it. You know, you have to have a system in place to be able to constantly be writing, scripting, editing, filming, all those things. And what I, what I ran into was a combination of trying to balance two things that I really needed in my life. One was financial, some sort of financial stability so that I can build a YouTube channel, uh, which I have a lot of confidence in that it can go somewhere if I can have some sort of stability towards it. That was what was, I was kind of, that was the two major things that were kind of pulling me throughout the whole year. How do I maintain some sort of financial security, stability, I should say, uh, so I can make YouTube videos? And I've, if you have seen any of my YouTube videos, I love telling stories. And maybe sometimes the stories aren't as great, but that's the whole point of making content and trying to re become really good at this craft is that you're going to have some duds. Um, and the only way you can get past that phase of like not making that great content, but like, you know, it can be good, um, is by producing a lot of work. Uh, and I'm a big believer of this. As I say this, the whole time I've been incredibly stressed out about, okay, how can I live a life where I don't have to worry about where my money's coming in every month so then I can do YouTube. And so a lot of times throughout the past year, a lot, there were a lot of times where I changed my priorities to finding a way to make money uh, and then slowly my priority for YouTube slowly dipped to like number two, then number three, number four. And what I'm here to say is that it's been a very, uh, I, I wouldn't want to say it's a really tough year. I wouldn't want to, I don't like saying that, but um, it was a, a year where I had to, I had to face a lot of um, obstacles where I had to figure out how to get around those obstacles. Uh, and in that journey of doing that, I've, I've learned a lot of lessons. I can tell you I've, I've learned a few and maybe in a, in a later video, I'll talk about them uh, in more in depth, but I wanted to make a video right now and I also wanted to keep this short. So you guys knew where I was um, and this whole idea and this passion I have for, for curiosity culture um, and what my plans are for next year, which is literally tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, so that was the biggest reason why I haven't been able to produce as much content as I've wanted to in, in, in 2019. Um, is this constant pool of um, making sure I have some sort of stability so that I can build uh, something I really care about. And if someone wants to challenge me on that thought process, please do. I want to be challenged. Um, and yeah, that's it. So now, moving on to 2020, uh, I'm in a new background 
uh, and it's because I moved to Philadelphia. Um, in my community post, I did suggest I was moving to New York City. Uh, that didn't really pan out for a lot of reasons, which I won't get into, but I am here in Philadelphia now, um, at least for the next year. And I'm super excited. I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous. Uh, but I'm very, I'm ready to take on the next challenge because I realized um, that I do really, really well when there's essentially uh, a gun to my head, figuratively. You know, if that makes sense. When I have a lot of pressure um, to to have some sort of outcome, I actually end up doing. Um, a lot better, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, and that's one thing I was missing when I was living at home is that I had incredible amounts of comfort. I didn't really have to worry about money. Um, and to be honest with you, that just made my mindset a little flabby. And I'm excited to have my own apartment being able to pay my own rent, to pay for things, um, and then also uh, find some sort of balance uh, to build YouTube, uh, to make YouTube videos. Um, and for me, I think one of the things that I've been thinking about in 2020 is that now that I'm living in Philadelphia, in the city, uh, and I had this really amazing um, office space, I literally have an office in my apartment, which is I think is really cool. Um, that is a form of me uh, having some sort of stability in my life because I know exactly where to go to do work and to edit videos. Um, the goal for 2020 is very simple. I want to create more. And I think that's very easy to say. Um, but I do want to create more. There is a project I'm working on right now. Um, I am currently applying for the Adobe Residence Program. Uh, essentially, that's due January 15th. Uh, so I have to finish a pilot episode that I'm kind of pitching to them that I want funding for, essentially, for the following year. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on that application. I'm working on that video right now. Uh, and along with that, I'm also looking to land some sort of full-time job or um, consistent contract work because right now I'm living off of my savings and I have a little bit of contract work, but the goal is to eventually um, to have a job so then I don't have to worry about anything else but YouTube. Uh, so the first two weeks will be a little um, maybe not consistent. Maybe I'll do like videos like this because I really want to connect with you guys more. Uh, this is raw. I have I don't have a script right now. I'm just talking into a camera and I'm just being just genuine who I am, how I talk to everyone. This is how I talk. I'm not scripted. Um, and I, I feel like all my videos are very scripted because they are. Um, but yeah. So anyway, maybe I'll make more videos like this just talking about concepts and ideas and personal development because I'm really into it. Um, and then also I'll be making projects of videos that are very similar to what I've made in the past, but kind of tweaking them so uh, we can get more eyeballs on them. So a lot of things are happening in 2020 and I'm excited about that. Um, I'm just genuinely excited. I'm nervous, but that is a good feeling because I haven't had this type of feeling in such a long time. And that, this is the type of feeling that makes me feel alive. Um, and ultimately, that's what matters. Um, because I think, yeah, I don't know. I really don't have a script for any of this, what I'm saying. So I hope this made sense. Uh, I'm very excited to for those who have stuck around. Um, YouTube, uh, making videos. Uh, I see my desire for creating content to tell stories um, that uh, as so much more than just posting them on YouTube. I see them as, I see this as a lifelong journey of mine. So um, in the long run, it's going to just be fine, uh, but I will become more consistent after two weeks because I have this application I need to really finish up and I need to put a lot of energy into. Uh, after that, I do want to share more of who I am, what I stand for, this idea of curiosity and how that can really excite uh, the soul to do great things. And I really hope um, everyone that's watching had a beautiful 2019. Uh, stay curious, uh, always stay curious, uh, and I'll see you guys next year.